Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video, I'm gonna go over osmosis. So let's get started. So osmosis is a process where water is going to move from a fluid of a higher water concentration to a fluid of a lower concentration. In other words, water is going to move from a fluid that has a low solute concentration to a fluid that has a higher solute concentration. And it does this passively. It doesn't need any energy or anything from the cell. It actually does this on its own, and it does it through a semi-permeable membrane, which is only permeable to water molecules. So let's illustrate this process by looking at this drawing. Here we have our semi-permeable membrane, which is only permeable to water. And on one side of the membrane, we have a lot of water molecules, but we don't have a lot of solutes. And on the other side of the membrane, we have not a lot of water molecules, but a lot of solutes. So according to osmosis, what's gonna happen is that water is going to move from a higher concentration of water to a lower concentration of water. Or you can look at it this way. Water is gonna move from the place where there's not a lot of solutes to a place that there are a lot of solutes. Now the big takeaway I want you to get from osmosis is that this process is highly influenced by a fluid solute concentration. And depending on how concentrated that fluid is of the solutes will determine how osmosis is going to affect how water is going to shift from this extracellular space to the intracellular space or vice versa. So what is a solute? A solute is a solid that has been dissolved in a liquid. And there's many different substances out there that can become a solute in a liquid solution, with one being like sodium and chloride. So we can take sodium and chloride in their solid form, put them in a liquid. Whenever we do that, once they dissolve, they become an electrolyte. But there's still a solute in that fluid that we have. Now we can take that and we can administer it to the patient in their intravascular system. Now depending how, on how much sodium and chloride we actually put in that fluid will determine how the process of osmosis is going to be affected in this extracellular and intracellular compartment. So that leads me to osmolarity. What is osmolarity? Osmolarity is the amount of solutes within a specific fluid volume. So in other words, it's the total solute concentration per liter of solution. So depending on that IV fluids osmolarity will depend on how well osmosis is going to work within the body to shift fluid around these compartments. So we can term fluids as having a high osmolarity or a low osmolarity. So whenever a fluid has a high osmolarity, we're saying it has a lot of solutes in that fluid. Whenever something has a lot of solutes in it, it has less water. On the flip side, if a fluid has a low osmolarity, it has a low amount of solutes in it, meaning it's going to have more water in it. Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the description below.